Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. China has included rare earth refining, processing and utilization technology in the list of restricted and prohibited exports. It is difficult for foreign countries to obtain support for rare earth technology from China. This has aroused concerns in European and American countries. So the G7 countries in Europe and the United States formed a rare earth buyers club to rebuild the rare earth supply chain. Among them, Kazakhstan broke the contract with China's natural gas before and now it has joined the European and American rare earth strategy. How can China counter it? The importance of rare earth materials is self-evident. This material is called an industrial vitamin, which shows that rare earths are widely used in various industries. Whether it is aircraft manufacturing, automobile production, or chip processing, etc., rare earths are needed. China is the world's largest exporter of rare earths, and its rare earth metal separation and extraction technology is the first in the world. Therefore, many countries will seek cooperation from China, either sending rare earths to China for processing, or purchasing rare earth raw materials from China. China has become an important participant in the global supply chain through the import and export of rare earths, and it is almost impossible to get rid of China's dependence on rare earths. But Europe and the United States insist on being hostile to China, and the G7 countries represented by the United States want to form a rare earth buyers club to establish a new rare earth supply chain and reduce China's dependence on rare earths. The first thing Europe and the United States need to do is to find a rare earth supplier. This country not only needs to have sufficient rare earth materials, but also has to master advanced rare earth extraction technology. So Kazakhstan has become the cooperation target of Europe and the United States. What many people do not know is that Kazakhstan is also rich in rare earth resources, and as early as 10 years ago, Kazakhstan State Atomic Energy Industry Corporation and Toshiba Corporation of Japan signed an agreement to mine rare earth metals, from mining to refining and extraction of rare earths, providing a complete cooperation program. The two parties have indeed made some achievements in the layout of the rare earth supply chain through the joint venture company. Although it is far from China's rare earth industry chain, if it is used as an option for European and American rare earth strategic cooperation, the interest of the West must be very great. So it is not surprising that Kazakhstan is brought into the circle the key lies in Kazakhstan's attitude. If Kazakhstan completely stands with the West, the result may not be what everyone wants to see. There are indications that Kazakhstan may have made its choice. Last year, Kazakhstan broke its natural gas contract with China and stopped the supply of natural gas. In March of this year, Kazakhstan and the United Kingdom signed a Memorandum of Strategic Partnership to cooperate in the field of mineral raw materials, including rare earth metals. The cooperation between Kazakhstan and the United Kingdom is surprising. It must be known that the export of rare earth metals in Kazakhstan has been restricted by Russia and cannot be exported to European countries normally. The main mineral buyers are neighboring countries such as Russia and China. This time Kazakhstan provided the UK with rare earths, which broke the inherent pattern and also released a signal for Kazakhstan to join the European and American rare earth strategy.
Although Kazakhstan officials have not made any statement, judging from one action after another, the expected things are happening. The UK has already left the European Union, but it does not affect the cooperative relationship between the UK and the United States and other G7 countries. As a member of the G7 countries, once the United Kingdom establishes a stable rare earth supply chain in Kazakhstan, other countries such as the United States, Germany, France, and Italy will also change Kazakhstan's rare earth supply chain cooperation. So as to achieve the purpose of reducing China's rare earth supply chain dependence. So how should China counter it? In fact, the most effective countermeasure is to keep the market open and cooperative. China will not refuse foreign suppliers to enter the Chinese market, nor will it hinder the normal operation of foreign companies in the Chinese market. Based on the principles of fairness, objectivity and neutrality, China provides enterprises with a good market environment. When the United States took action against Huawei, Apple made a lot of money in the Chinese market. As long as it can gain market recognition with its strength, there is naturally nothing to say. In the same way, it is also possible for the West to do Chinese rare earth business. Except that technology cannot be transferred or authorized, the West can still send rare earths to China for processing, or find Chinese companies to purchase rare earth raw materials and products. The reason why the West seeks cooperation from Kazakhstan to reduce the dependence of China's rare earth industry chain is nothing more than unfounded worry. They worry that after becoming dependent on China, they will impose restrictive measures like the United States. The United States has used its technological advantages to formulate chip rules and hinder the shipment of advanced products, while China also has the leading voice in certain technological fields. But it has not hindered the shipment of any products. This is enough to explain the problem. It is our own choice for Kazakhstan to join the European and American camps, we just need to keep the market open. China has a huge and open market appeal, and I believe it will be difficult for the West to refuse. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share. Thank you for your watching.